How long ago did we start talking about how angry people were and how upset they were? Years. Look at our videos. It's all there. And, of course, it's become more and more obvious, and this Brexit vote says it all. If we think here in America that that Brexit vote has nothing to do with us, then keep on walking down the yellow brick road. It is so, what's happening in the world, it's crazy. You know, Britain is a lot like the United States. First of all, it's our mother country, our mother language. Secondly, you have so many different groups there. You have the Welsh, you have the Scots, you have the Irish, along with the English. And they're separated from Europe by the channel. We're separated by everybody from the Atlantic, by the Atlantic Ocean, between that and Europe, of course, Pacific with the Asian, Asian countries. And we have so many different uh, ethnic groups in this country that have been preyed on by the media to be separated and made different than everybody else so that everybody worries about themselves and not about the group as a whole. Nativism is here. It's been here. Uh, we said, what, it was a couple of months ago, one of our videos was a ra a rational is no longer rational, and we have to accept it. This election is going to be a really tough election. Hillary's in real trouble. She's been in trouble for a long time. Bernie Sanders is going to go away, but his movement isn't. And Trump's movement's not going to go away. And this should definitely put the, uh, the, the kibosh on the, the uh, Republicans who are trying to uh, take the nomination away from Trump. We just have to start getting ready for this now and really just deal with reality. Nativism is, is the rule of the day. All countries are going to start separating from each other. This is going to lead to major um, defense buildups because we're going to have to worry about our own defense now. There's going to be issues about who we support and who we don't support. Our foreign policy is going to be, which it already is in total disarray, is going to be even worse. President Obama is trying to push through everything he can which is not good with all his executive orders getting slapped down by the Supreme Court left and right. And people are just tired of it, and it's all here, and we have to accept it and be ready for it. I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's good. I just think it cycles, and it's how it goes, and you accept it, and you move forward with it. If I'm Hillary Clinton, I said this a while ago. I'm sorry this, uh, this, this, this recording talks about all the stuff we've been saying, but gosh, please go back to all our videos. We're all right here on Just an American Citizen. Um, we said a long, a long time ago, she's got to she's got to pep up her her um, her campaign more than pep it up. She's got to be make, make it sound relevant and make it happen, and just being rational and cool, saying I'm different. And she may pull it off. Maybe America's a little cooler about this. Maybe Brexit will get people all worried, but I wouldn't bet on it at the present time. This is Huey Long. If Huey Long had media, it would have been crazy. Would have, who knows what would happen to this country? So. Let's move forward. Let's be prepared. Don't think that Brexit doesn't tell us where it's going. It's telling us where we're going. We're going to a big split in this country. It's going to be a tight election. Trump's got a lot of a lot of power, a lot of staying power, and Hillary Clinton's got to wake up. The Democrats got to wake up, or they're going to be smashed. And it's going to be a power to the people. And there's nothing really wrong with power to the people, is there? How long ago did we say throw the bums out? I say throw them out. But. Let's get ready and quit with all the uh, rationale and all the rational jive because rational is no longer rational. Peace.